Class of 2021, here we are. End of the year coming up fast. Not really the one we envisioned, but that really shows um, something about where we are right now. It highlights your resilience. It highlights your, your perseverance in the face of adversity. Um, we're here to celebrate you. Um, you guys had sent out a list of teachers you would like to hear from and, and, and they came and, and here we are. Um, and we're gonna kind of just talk about your accomplishments. Um, I'm gonna start just quick with SGA. Um, we started a bit chaotic with the departure of the last advisor and, uh, but you guys made things work really seamlessly. Um, homeroom was a blast. And more importantly, your dedication to the school and, and community just highlights just how awesome you were. Um, you donated to the needy, volunteered at Soldier's Home, volunteered countless hours. Uh, and it's really been a true honor um, to have you guys in homeroom and to have you guys as many of you as students. And um, I'll end with Visco for life. That that has me that has meaning to, to you. So, um, all right, awesome. I'm handing it over to Mrs. McKenna. Class of 2021, seniors, oh, what a year it has been. Um, I have missed you so much in the halls, in the cafeteria, in your classrooms. Um, a highlight of my day is always having a conversation with a student where they tell me how their day is going, what they've been up to. Um, and I can't tell you how much I have missed that, seeing you, seeing your smiling faces and helping you out with the problem. I have even missed our conversations in BST. That is how much I have missed working with students at Hoyoke High School. Class of 2021, you are the first year of students graduating from an academy. You are trend setters at Hoyoke High School. I am so proud of your perseverance. I am so proud how you pushed forward. And I'm so proud of all the help that I've seen you give each other as you work in your classes, when I'm in your Zoom rooms, um, you have really worked together to get here. I cannot wait to celebrate at all the senior events. I will miss the prom as much as you. We will have to figure out a way that we do a dance together as we send you off. All right, I'm done because Mahoney's cut me off. He's yelling at me, but you know what? I can take a couple of extra minutes because I am El Principal. <laughs> to the next person. Um, but seniors, I love you more than you know, and I can't wait to celebrate. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations to all of you. I'm so excited for you as you headed to the next chapter of your lives. Life threw you a curveball, but you hit it out of the park. We are all so proud of you. I just want to give a very special shout out to my Abateers OG. You were the first class who started an early college program as 10th graders and you set the standard. Um, you will always hold a special place in my heart. Congratulations to all of you. You're gonna go on to do great things. I challenge you, you miss out on a lot of uh, typical or traditional senior events. I challenge you on your fifth year reunion, have your prom. I challenge you to do that. All right, again, congratulations. The, the whole Holyoke community and um, Holyoke High North and South, uh, North and Dean campus uh, staff are very, very proud of you. Passing it on to Ms. Bouchard. Hello, everybody. I cannot believe you guys are already seniors. I really feel like it was just yesterday that you were freshmen getting lost and going to the wrong lunch. Um, I think over the years how many good times that we had and all of the challenging ones as well, um, especially C Block. Um, we listened to some great songs, made some great memories. Um, I have enjoyed watching you guys grow and mature throughout the year and I'm gonna miss all of the visits and all of the hellos in the halls don't forget to keep in touch and remember I will always think of you as my ninth graders bye guys good luck so I, I guess uh, from now on we won't be shaking hands anymore or anywhere um, but I do miss seeing everybody every day shaking hands with you greeting you in, on your way into class um, 
I'm, I'm extremely proud of this class getting through this year. Um, even though I left at the end of last year, I feel like this is my graduating class because because you were you know the main the main group that I taught um, last year, and I was I was thrilled to be able to come back and do some college advising with a group of you. Um, but what I really want to uh, highlight for this group is the group of students who, who participated in Global Glimpse and of course the promise of that was to be able to to travel abroad but there was a lot of work to do beforehand and the folks who stepped up and did that and grew uh, were amazing and I know there's a group of you heading off to Costa Rica this summer um, and that's going to be an amazing trip. I'm very very excited for you. Um, I wish I could join you on that but I'm proud of the entire class of 2021. Congratulations. Um, I can't wait to see you all in person and to hear how you're doing in the future. So congratulations and good luck. Hi, students who know me know that I'm direct to the point. So here's my speech. Congratulations, class 2021. Felicitations à tous. <laughs> What's up, senior class of 2021? Time has flown by. I can still remember when you guys were all freshmen coming into the high school, playing sports, and being scared to go see the trainer because he will just sit you out. As many of you found out, I wasn't like that. I will never forget the many times that you guys came into my office and said, I didn't know you were Mrs. Offrey's husband. You guys will actually be the last class to actually be able to do that. <laughs> So all the athletes, it's been a wild ride in the last four years. Two, I don't think we have to talk about anything else. You guys all overcame adversity and we've had some type of athletic seasons. You guys have given me many memories over the last four years, too many to talk about in a short amount of time. One big highlight of this year was all the signings that we got to do for kids going on to play college. I want to give out some shout outs to Kevin Jourdain for going to Yale University and playing football. Amaya Olivero for going to Elms College and playing soccer. Taryn Ryan for going out to Springfield College and playing soccer. Ryan Cristobal De Leon for going to Gallaudet University and playing basketball. Moses Okendo for going to New England College to wrestle. And Ashani Morales for going to East Strasburg State to wrestle. I uh, decided to do a little twist on the senior class will for you guys. So here we go. I, Kevin Offrey, athletic trainer at Hoyoke High School, being of sound mind and body, do hereby leave my last will in testament. To all the seniors on the football team, I leave you one last Thanksgiving Day bagel breakfast in the athletic training room. So sorry we missed it this year. I owe you guys one. To Lauren Resin, I leave you a pair of soccer cleats that won't hurt your feet. To Sam Othier, I leave you a pair of nail clippers so next time you don't pass out when your acrylics rip off your nail. To Taryn Ryan, I leave you bubble wrap because if you know Taryn, you'll understand why. And to all the seniors of the class of 2021, I leave you the best of luck in the future adventures. And just in closing, just remember, if something's wrong or you aren't feeling good at all, all you have to do is foam roll and ice it. It makes it all better. How am I supposed to go after that? Awesome. Uh, class of 2021, you guys just amaze me with your resilience like everyone else. Um, but... I really am in awe of your ability to to one another. And I am just so proud of you. Um, I've seen peer leaders uh, guiding us through support circles and friends helping each other in the chat before I can even read it. I just can't tell you how lucky we've been. If anybody else's 2021 classes like ours we are in for some good stuff coming up, guys. Thank you so much. And like Sebastian always says, much love. Have a great weekend. So I want to take you guys back to ninth grade.
English class with me. I got to see some of you fascinated by literature when we started the year with We the Animals. We moved on to Raisin in the Sun. Um, Will Alisea may or may not have gotten so into the acting, he wore two shirts so he could tear one in half. E-Block, you probably remember Nate Yates made a whole song and dance so we could get through the tragic ending together. Um, and if you were in any of my classes, you know I threatened to give you an F if you ruined the ending before we got there as a class. R.I.P. Lenny. Um, can't forget Romeo and Juliet. They're super toxic, terrible role models. Don't do what they did. But uh, I'm super proud of you guys for graduating. Reach out anytime and keep reading. Class of 2021, got to just say, like joining everyone else, congratulations. Glad you commit, pushed through. Uh, as I've been sitting here in, uh, in these last couple of days, one of the seniors came through, Alondra came through. And all of a sudden, Alondra in a mask. And she said, Mr., don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? And that total blank. Well, when she lowered a mask and it took a breath and smiled, lowered it down, I could see the face. She chopped her hair off. The changes that you guys have gone through are, symb are represented in, in with, in with Alondra. But the one thing I know about you guys, you guys do, and everyone else saying the strength that you have within you. But I, you know, so I just want to just tell you guys, keep going forward, keep going forward, keep going forward. But if I didn't pick on Matt DeLude, who made my AP class so excited because once, once I asked a question, even if he didn't know the answer, he gave one. And God bless him for that one right there. You know, that's best. And also my, my, uh, my honors class that I had that had with you guys, you know, the romances that were there, that was always so fun, whether it be uh, Jalen and Josiah or whether it be uh, Antonio and Kylie Mar, whoever else, the fun things we had. So the one thing I want you to always remember and write this down, brush your teeth and tell your mother you love her. See you later, congratulations. All right, class of 2021, the first freshman I ever taught. Um, I will never forget how often the teachers next door would have to come in and ask our class to quiet down. Um, our legendary fishbowl discussions, even when they got pretty heated. Uh, reading A Raisin in the Sun, just like Ms. Martins pointed out, and our competition with Ms. Martin's class for who could act out the scenes better. Um, special shout out for the passionate acting of my e-block that year. You know who you are. Reading of Mice and Men. And I have to give a special anti shout out for Zach Villegas, who spoiled the ending of the book for the whole class. So that's for you, Zach. I will never forget. And singing the songs from West Side Story and watching the extra cringy movie with all of you still cracks me up to this day. Um, I love this class so much. You should all be so proud of yourselves. You will make an impact on this world. Keep being the amazing people you are. What a year, class of 2021. Uh, I have so many students I'm excited to see graduate. Uh, but I think it's always special when you uh, so see you graduate high school. Uh, it was certainly filled with lots of challenges this last year, but you overcame. Uh, I'm so proud of all the work you've done. And as I've seen you grow throughout high school, becoming student leads, leaders and taking on so many extra responsibilities, uh, I'm just tremendously proud of the work you've done. And I'm proud to play a small part in that. Um, when you become CEOs, CFOs and COOs, don't forget me. I want a job with a lot of money and not a lot of work. Just don't ask me where to find Orange, Massachusetts. Congratulations, guys. So I'm following up Mr. Cotto because, um, so this graduating class was my first class as like a, as a real teacher when I got out of grad school, they were my first sophomores. But before I even got there, when I was, before I was a real teacher, I uh, um, had to do a, like a mock, like a, teach a class for my interview. Dr. Mahoney had me come in and teach a class. And I, and I think it was, Maybe Tony was there as well. Um, and I came into actually what was Mr. Cotto's ninth grade. I found 
Uh, recently, and so I did this lesson on bone de- bone densities, and y'all gave me some feedback, and I gave you the cereal, and it was about a month ago that some of my AP bio seniors were like, oh, miss, that was our class that you did your interview in, and I like had completely not bear to 10 out of 15 AP bio students I have who are in that class with my employment here at Holy Okay School, so thank you so much for the job. Um, but I'm just, you know, you never forget your first group of students and my first 10th graders came in. I think it was Alexa Torres and Nasir Davis were my first A block students who came in and said, hi, miss. And it was my first day of getting to be real teacher and they were my lead out. And so I'm so, so proud of you. I'm so excited to see you graduate. I'm so excited for what you guys got going on for the rest of your lives that you get to start now and just know that you're going to be part of my life for forever and ever. So. Congratulations. Good job, crew. Is it me? Um, congratulations, class of 2021 Holyoke High School um, for your approaching graduation. Despite the literal end of the world, you've finished high school. You've zoomed and zoomed and zoomed and you've dug deep and you've endured. And that is not to be discounted. That's a lot easier than it sounds. I know that I personally have been responsible for a number of stressful days and nights tackling my class, whether that's homework or tests. The good news is that you made it through my class and now you can head into college feeling like, hey, you know what? I did it. I can do anything, right? What could be harder than this? I want to give a special shout out to Armani Rios, Josh Gonzalez, Justin Rivera, Luis Arzola, and Jaden Cruz, who were all in my standard algebra two class last year and then said, you know what? This is easy. And they took honors pre-calculus with me this year. What is more impressive than saying, you know what? I'm going to kick it up a notch. Like, if I were... My hat is off. Um, And one last thing. You all smell like updog. I'm so not going to ask that question, Slady. <laughs> seniors, seniors. What they said. Congratulations, class of 2021. You guys are awesome. All right, sit down, sign seats, notebooks out, get the type one going, let's go. Name, left-hand corner, period D, all right, the date, let's go. Remember that? Remember listening to Hamilton as a ninth grader? Remember kind of grooving? Remember when he got shot? You were up with tears and I'm dead. I didn't want to leave of absence and you. And then you seniors, American government, you know, good group of kids. Gonna miss you guys. And uh, one last piece of advice. History teaches that be good. So I just wanted to say that I have really enjoyed teaching so many of you in the class of 2021, whether you were the brave sophomores who took chemistry your sophomore year as part of the MLS Academy, or you pushed yourself your junior junior or this year, senior year to take chemistry. Um, it has been a pleasure. I have enjoyed lighting your hands on fire um, and teaching you how to light a Bunsen burner and those of you who took chemistry this year, uh, come back and visit and I'll do very, very well. And I hope that you enjoy the things that you pursue. Thank you for putting up with the most nauseous teacher you've ever had. It's this little baby. Yay! So thank you so much for everything that you have taught me. I have loved being your teacher and I look forward to hearing what you're up to in What's going on, seniors? Um, I appreciate the class of 2021 for, for making it happen. It's such a, a crazy and unique uh, year. Um, I, I congratulate all of you and wish you nothing but the best. And just remember, um, improve always and always.
Peace. Hello, class of 2021. Remember me, Mrs. Gonzalez? Um, I love you guys. I'm so proud of all of you. Just want you to know that as you embark on a new chapter in your life, um, always remember that um, learning doesn't stop inside the classroom. You'll always be a student. Um, I always, I still consider myself a student. Life is full of lessons. Um, every experience in life certainly is a lesson that will make you smarter. Um, this has truly been an amazing year, which I've thoroughly enjoyed, um, even though it's been rough. It's been for, rough for all of us. Um, it's been full of hard work and it's been a massive experience um, for all of us. Thank you for working with us, for working with your teachers, for working with each other during this most challenging year. This experience taught us that we are strong, that we are resilient. Um, in, my, in my heart, in my mind, I'm dancing with all of you at prom. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's how I celebrate you. I celebrate you, I salute you um, for your continued, um, you continue to stay dedicated and I have no doubt that you will continue to move forward with perseverance and commitment. Felicidades a todos nuestros estudiantes. Estoy muy orgulloso de todos ustedes y les quiero dar gracias a todos los padres o la gente que, ha, que han ayudado a criarlos a todos ustedes porque tienen mucho que ver con ustedes graduarse. Muchas gracias. Mr. Brew, I think you're next. Hey, class 2021, it's Mr. Brew, and I'm fortunate enough to be the advisor for the business club. And I want to take you back to a time in 2019 when no one knew what COVID-19 was, fortunately. And we went to the, <laughs> the epicenter at one point at, um, in New York City. We took a trip to Wall Street and we took a trip to the New York Stock Exchange. And it was a lot of fun. And I really miss uh, being on that trip with you guys. And I just want to tell you that I'll never forget telling you guys to have all the groups back at the bus at 5 p.m. And what do you know, 5 p.m. on the dot, everybody was back at the bus. We had not one behavior issue that whole trip. We had not one discipline issue and you guys were just amazing. And it was at that point that I knew that we would have a good couple of years uh, until you graduated because you're a great class. So I'm so proud of you. Thanks for all the memories. And wish you all the best of luck. You're up, Schwader. Schwader, you're up, Darth. Sorry for <laughs> joining and rejoining a million times, but seniors, this is all about you guys. Um, I will never forget coaching you your sophomore years. And you guys were like, who is this? Who is this person straight out of college? She doesn't know what she's doing. And um, I don't know what it was, but you guys took a risk. You took a leap of faith. We trusted in the process of training a lot of hard workouts. Marcel Guzik, I will never forget your endless torrent of complaints, but it ended up in improvements and big step forwards. And um, a lot of y'all, you know, hold really special places in my heart from 6 a.m. practice um, when it was still dark out in the spring to coming over for pasta dinners before big competitions. Um, to literally falling over after you cross the finish line after another 400 meter rep. And that strengthens your character in ways that you will realize in the future. You will realize, you know, one day when you have a hard experience, when you don't think it can get any harder, that you have a well of reserves to draw on. And I have found that to come in handy, certainly with teaching um, and other aspects of life. And I'm really grateful to have been a part of your life. And um, so thank you to those special sophomores, um, you know, Jacob Reist, Jack Neri, Mar Marcel and Marco and um, Zach, all of y'all are incredibly special people. And um, just so grateful to have played um, a small, been a part of your journey at, at Holyoke High School. So great work, congratulations. Um, and on to, on to the next chapter. So I'm going to close this out. You guys just heard a lot of awesome things. And you know what the common theme was? It was you. It was your amazingness. It was your perseverance. It was the impact that you guys made on, on us and on yourselves and the, and the other members of the, of the school. So from, from all of us, and I know from other teachers who weren't able to make it, um, we are so proud of you. So congratulations and uh, thank
thank you for for playing a role in our lives and good luck in the future hail hoyok high school alma mater first forever <laughs> and the days we spent with thee will always live in memory so h o l y o k e means what sheila friendship truth and loyalty <laughs> hail hoyok high school